This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the February 2023 release. The full list of features can be found in the February 2023 version 20.23.2 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're highlighting the following features. Easily find audio-video content with the new Filter by Owner Names filter in Media Library. In Data Hub, the Turnitin Submissions Brightspace dataset has updated the data type with the Field ID column, and the Quiz Objects Brightspace dataset has added the Paging Type ID column. Keep track of changes to assess rubrics with enhanced visual cues using the Rubrics tool. And finally, a summary of changes for all the other features this month. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. To help administrators more easily sort and find content, Media Library is updated to include a filter for sorting by a specific creator. The new ownership filter allows finding and potentially updating the creators for large groups of content. Administrators can now quickly find creators' videos or audio for transferring ownership or performing bulk actions. Previously, there was no way to filter or search by creator. In the Media Library landing page, Click the Filters button to expand the drop-down menu. Click Ownership and enter the name into the search field. You can also enter partial search terms. Click the Search button with the magnifying glass to apply the filter to the search results below. The Media Library feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all administrator users with the Can Manage All Objects and Relevant User Management permissions. Moving now to our Data Hub features, in the Turnitin Submissions Brightspace dataset, the data type of the Field ID column is now Big Int. Previously, the data type for Field ID was Int. This change allows a larger value with up to 8 bytes to be saved, as the previous 4 bytes limit is too small for some larger organizations. This Data Hub feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the Can Access Brightspace Datasets permission is granted to administrators at the org level, and that the d2l.tools.brightspace-datasets.version configuration variable is set to version 7 or 8. Note that the new and changed datasets appear the first time the datasets run after the version update. The Brightspace dataset for quiz objects now includes a new value for the paging type ID column to support two new paging options of either 5 questions per page or 10 questions per page. The possible values for paging type ID are as follows. Uses classic quiz creation paging equals null. All questions on one page equals zero. One question per page equals one. Page breaks after each section equals two. Five questions per page equals three and 10 questions per page equals four. This Data Hub feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the Can Access Brightspace Datasets permission is granted to administrators at the org level, and that the d2l.tools.brightspace-datasets.version configuration variable is set to version seven or eight. Note that the new and changed datasets appear the first time the datasets run after the version update. To maintain the integrity of assessments, any rubric that has been used to assess a grade item is locked. However, as it may be necessary to add or update the text or criteria levels on a rubric without changing any points, these changes can be made after the rubric has been locked. This feature, building on the rubrics Clarify Grading Criteria by Editing Text Field in Assess Rubrics feature released in November 2022, grants users enhanced visual cues to keep track of changes made. In Rubrics, navigate to a locked rubric you wish to edit and select a grid box. Enter the changes you wish to make. Once completed, navigate away from the grid box by clicking elsewhere on the page. Any changed areas are highlighted blue and labeled as edited. The Rubrics feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. This feature addresses the following accessibility impacts. WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 1.3.3 Sensory Characteristics and WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 1.4.1 Use of Color. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. 
Intelligent agents now feature support for copying one-time run agents. Improved D2L standard CSV delete function in Ipsys. In learner experience, users can now mark a topic as complete. LTI features improved grades associations for LTI 1.3. Support has been added to allow for bulk actions in media library. Additional paging options now in the quizzes tool. And lastly, the quizzes tool now allows you to add quiz availability dates to your calendar. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the February 2023 version 20.23.2 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!